But I woke up paralyzed. Basically, I woke. I couldn't move. I couldn't. I didn't even realize I was really thrown up because I woke up the next morning. Were you still laying in your puke? I didn't notice it <laughs> because <laughs> because because I was still drunk. Because well, no, but I mean, I so I, I thought that I was dreaming that I was throwing up in my bed. Yep. But I do remember like kind of being able to like wiggle out a little bit and puke off the side of the bed. And so when I woke up, I looked off the side and I was like, there's a little bit down there. I was like, there it is. That's like that. I was like, that's that's not too bad. It's been I've done a lot worse. So I got up, went downstairs, made coffee, took a shower, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I'm gonna go clean this now. So I went upstairs and I saw the bed. It was in shambles, dude. Fucking <laughs> fucking sheet was pulled back and shit. There's throw up everywhere. I was like, Oh my God, I didn't even realize like- You were sleeping in it? I was sleeping in it. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, whoopsie. (laughs) I did Your puss are mediocre. (laughs) (laughs) Oh shit. Hey everybody. What's up, guys? Episode 51. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> back. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I'm Welcome this. back to episode 51. I think I have dreams and this song is in my dreams. I'm pretty sure. I like this jingle. It's a good pre-recorded little jingle there on there. Yeah. yeah. We can't claim uh, copyrights to it because it's definitely not ours. It's We stole it. From Roadcaster. It's Roadcaster. Road, it's preloaded, yeah. so I'm it sure anybody can use it. Literally comes with the roadcaster. Comes with the roadcaster. Speaking of dreams, I had a dream last night. I got my nipples pierced. It was weird. It was the weird. I don't even know why. What gave you that weird idea? Actually, I think it was because of the story you told me. Uh, <laughs> that might have been that might have been why. And it was weird because in the dream I'd just gotten fresh nipple piercings and Ashley was like twisting them and stuff. And I told her about it like on text today. And she goes, uh, I told her about how I got on Pierce or whatever, and she's like, "Did I, did I wake you up?" Or oh, it's probably because I woke you up, woke you up when I was pinching your nipples when you're sleeping or something. I was like, I was like, "Did you?" Because I fucking dreamt that you were <clears throat> twisting them and shit too. <laughs> she's like, "No, no, I didn't." I was like, "That would be some <laughs> shit if you were." Fucking, that's not a nice move to twist Tw- somebody's nipples while they're sleeping. Yeah. She, well, she said she would. She was pinching. I'm not like twisting, but, but in my dream, she was twisting. I mean, them. but still, I know. Like, I think I would wake up in a panic if somebody was messing with my nipples. Yeah, you start fucking throwing haymakers <laughs> and no shit. Sh- <laughs> That's how you end up going to work with a black guy. Like, no, my husband hit me, but it was a complete accident. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I deserved it this time, for real. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting down with our friends. I I had it coming, girls. <laughs> I had it it was my it's- fault. It was I sh- shouldn't have left the house dressed like that. <laughs> Uh, fuck. Women are crazy sometimes when it comes because my sister was telling me before how she had a dream about her. I think it was her ex husband at the time. Uh, she had a dream how he was like cheating on her in her dream, and she woke up, looked at him, and punched him like awake, punched a sleeping man for a <laughs> that, a dream that she had. Women are fucking nuts when it comes to that shit. They get really fucking pissed at you when they're in, from their dreams. I mean, offense. You guys are not offense. <laughs> Home. I mean, it's. I mean, you've seen them TikToks where it's like they did that, right? Yeah. The, they like do the TikTok trend where it's like, you cheated on me in my dream last night. Pack your fucking shit. Yeah. Get the, the fuck, fuck is out. wrong what? with you? What? It wasn't real. Speaking it's, of crazy, it seemed real to me. I uh, I went on a date one time with this girl. First date, first time meeting her, whatever. Yeah. Hold and on. Hold on. Hold on. How'd you meet? Oh, Tinder, I think. Tinder? Yeah. Was it a was Tinder girl? One of those, yeah. So <laughs> what's what's the gay one? The, the gay, gay Tinder. Uh, um Grinder. Yeah, Grinder. Met her on Grinder. <laughs> Met her on Grinder. Anyway, so yeah, we're we're having dinner. Gay. <laughs> and uh I don't even know what we were talking about, but she just randomly she's like, Yeah, so I put out a, a Craigslist ad one time and I put <clears> uh <throat> She's like, uh, seeking a guy to sneak into my house and fuck me in the middle of the night while I'm sleeping. 
and she put her address in there and shit. And some guy fucking took her up on it. She she was sleeping and she woke up. This dude was fucking her in her apartment. And I was like, I was like, on the outside, I was like, wow, that's that's crazy. But on the inside, I was like, holy fuck, you are crazy. I was like, I don't know what to say. I was like, yeah, wow, you, you really did that, huh? You finished yeah. the date? But yeah, I was. What the fuck is wrong with you? I was eating Mexican. Food. Dude, I would really good. Fucking ran. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. That's the granted. Kind of, I didn't talk to her again after that's that. That's the but. kind of girl that goes. I have to use the restroom. I'll be back. And then as she's getting up and going, oh hey, by the way, you like my perfume? Reaches forward, shoves your face in her shirt, and it's chloroform. And she's like, oh, waiter, help me carry him out to the car. He's had stuff in the trunk. He's he's drunk. Has that happened to you? Takes you home before she fucking. Or? Takes up, she takes your balls and puts them in roach clips, and then fucking uses a piece of paper and paper cuts your ball sack while you're tied to a fucking what electric chair. Is this are you are you just making this up or was it a personal experience you see it in a movie? What's how is this? What's why? That's <laughs> that's where my mind went when you said she was the really? kind of girl from that story. That's where your mind went. She's, she's gonna the kind of you, girl. Put you in a car, paper clip your testicles, roach or, clip, roach your, clip your testicles, yes. and then paper cut your balls. Yep. And then when Zach. she's done with your balls, she's going to go in between your toes, which I think Oof. would be worse. Yeah, that would be way. Oof. Yeah, that'd be worse. Because yeah. I've I've nicked my balls before shaving and stuff. And then she's going to do that weird sex shit where she shoves stuff in your pee hole. Oh, that's called sounding. But she's going to start off with like small shit and you're yeah. going to like it a little bit because she's going to like tickle your balls, get you hard first. Then she's going to shove something. Am in I going to like this or are you going to no, like you're this? You're going to like this. You were the I'm one not going to like it. You're the one that went on a date with her. Yeah, I didn't know she was batshit crazy prior to. You should have ran. You know the TikToks that go, run. <laughs> That's what you should have done. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I, should, I, I mean, I probably should have. But I didn't die. I didn't get raped. Yep. Lucky. Lucky. Er. Had, it was pretty good Mexican food. Mm, lucky. So, I mean. Yeah, dude, you fucking. And I never talked to her again. So, when, when. I guess I don't know. It was fucking crazy. You Dude, know, Tinder's full of fucking. They crazies. do. They do say a win's a win, whether it's luck or good. A win's a win. So I guess I'll give it to you. Yeah, one for Brandon. Thank you. Give it up. Thank you. He got one. Got one. He got one. I next got lucky. time. Next time, there ne- will be no next oh, time. Next but. time. <laughs> next time, you're fucking raped. No, nah. for sure. Well, there's not going to be a next time, so. so I got to get Ryan back for putting dog shit in my rusty bottom. Oh and yeah, I really want to fucking stage a fucking kidney stealing, get a hotel room, fill a bathtub full of ice, chloroform his ass. I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot about the he put the. Ooh, what would you do? Imagine him waking up in a hotel and they're like he thinks he's on ice and blood and. Yeah, uh, ice. Dude. He's on ice and blood. Like his own, we'll just like somebody else. We'll like food color the ice red, so it looks like he's been bleeding in a bathtub all night. <laughs> It'll wake. Oh, so you won't actually do it? You'll just no, pr- we'll pretend. Just, yeah, so he wakes up pretending. like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying just, to imagine him, and we set up GoPros like all over the hotel room and watch him fucking straight panic. Yeah, that would be. Uh... You shouldn't put dog funny. shit in my fucking truck, Ryan. What would you do if you put dog shit in your new truck? What, <laughs> what kind of revenge would it be then if you're... Same thing, but I would take both his kidneys. I would actually take them. You would take his kidneys? Yep. And then when he woke up, I would have like the little saw guy. Uh-huh. On, oh, like, a, on like a yeah. TV screen. He would say, I want to play a game. Would he sound like that? Both of your kidneys are on ice and they're still good. The trick to this game is you have to find them. You have two hours and 15 minutes to find them. <laughs> Hurry up. They're dying, as are you. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny, I guess. If you're you know, Jeffrey Dahmer or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I just want to take some pictures. I just want to take some pictures. just want to take some. Uh, what's what's <clears throat> in there? Uh, just, just gay stuff. So I've, I've never, I haven't had any ridiculous like dating stories like that. That's where, where, that's really my only where one, they but. were like, I oh dude I do have I do have one, oh so I was dating this girl like right after I moved to New Jersey, mm-hmm. I, 
we were on like that plenty of fish app oh yeah remember that one that was like the first one yeah we would like hang out in the day room at the dorm building and we'd just like go through plenty of fish there'd be like eight or nine of us and we'd be like oh dude look at this girl and they'd be like yeah i i sent her a message haven't heard back yet <laughs> you know we just all the local girls like we had all we we're all just fucking blasting their fucking inboxes yeah. And this one girl, like, she messaged me back, and I was, like, talking to her. I'm like, yeah, you want to hang out, whatever. Well, long story short, she came over and partied with us a few times, and she seemed kind of, like, she seemed pretty cool, right? And I'm like, cool, let's hang out, whatever. And we were kind of, like, unofficially, like, unformally dating for, like, a month or so or whatever. But we decided to go up to the Poconos and go snowboarding one weekend. And I told this girl that I was unofficially dating. And I'm like, yeah, me and a bunch of my buddies and some of their girlfriends and stuff, we're all going up to the Poconos for the weekend. So I'll uh, I'll be gone for the weekend, right? And I like didn't invite her. At the time, my one buddy and his wife, I we had hung out as like a like a couple group mm -hmm. once or twice and they'd like exchange his wife and the girl i was dating kind of had like exchange numbers yeah so i told them like yeah i didn't invite her i was like i just kind of want to you know do me this weekend kind of thing <laughs> and she invited her she's like ah oh, you should come there's a bunch of us going so like this girl texted me she's like hey so and so asked me if i wanted to come with you cool with me going and i'm like Sure. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, definitely. So she comes. We get all the way up to the Poconos, right? And, we're, and mind you, we're going snowboarding. Yeah. This chick forget or waits to tell everybody at the whole group until we get there. She's never been skiing or snowboarding before. And I'm like, great. Now I have to spend all fucking day on the bunny hill. <laughs> so, like, I go down the bunny hill with her a couple times and she's like, I got it. I'm cool. I'm going to hang out down here. You go snowboarding with everybody. Have fun. Whatever. Cool. All right. I was gone the whole day. I get back to the ski lodge and we go to the hotel and she was like, happy go lucky. No big deal. Like we ate dinner, got back to the hotel room and this chick went absolute batshit fucking crazy on me. Just like I was her husband of 30 years and I ran over the family dog that's been alive for 40 of them. Yeah. Dude, I was like, when we get back to New Jersey, I'm so breaking up this with you. shit is fucking over. I'm so unofficially breaking like, up with you. <laughs> so I was just like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And like made amends with her. I think we banged that night. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah i'm sorry sorry baby got, don't forgive me you got one more in there before i told her i'm to saying <laughs> you pounded before you and, told dude her and be honest with you i'm pretty sure pretty sure when we got back she went home and tried texting me the next day and i literally just ghosted her you didn't even break up with her you just nope. ghosted her just straight stopped answering texts stopped answering calls classic you look like that guy yeah i was like if she freaks out because she told me to go do something and I did it, how is she going to fucking handle me telling her I don't want to date her and this whole, like, thing is done? Yeah. I was like, fuck that. Nope. Not doing it. Yeah, you'd... Not doing it. You'd end up... I ghosted her. Chloroformed with fucking so, paper cuts on your balls. And so, yeah, ladies, if you get ghosted, probably because you're fucking crazy. So don't, don't get mad at them. Ask what... Can I do about me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did I do? Wrong? What was it that I did that caused him to ghost me? Yeah. By the way, that's kind of fucked up. I shouldn't say that. Yeah. I forgot to mention this. Hmm. What in the fuck are you wearing? Oh, well, that brings me to a good point here. A good point? Yeah. My birthday is on Saturday, July 8th. That's my birthday. Yeah. Big old 4 0. Turn in 40. No. Just kidding. 32. I'm turning 32 years young, and I feel it. I'm a fucking animal. You see them fucking cannons? Yeah, I see them. 
full of fat and dad strength is what they are. <laughs> uh, so this shirt that I'm wearing, because my birthday is on Saturday, my sister was in town who is gay and she likes boobs. She bought one of these too so that we could match. Oh, yeah? This was my birthday present. And I was like, this is great. It's got literally every type of boob on Every it. type of boob you could ever see. Like where, long. Where did she get that shirt at? Long dangly ones. I think she got it at like the the dildo store. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, the sex shop mm-hmm. place. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. I think they went there. Yeah, that's what they did. They went to the sex store because she's gay and... They got, they got me a t- titty shirt. Non-gay people go to the sex store, you know. Yes. <laughs> yes, you're right. I know. They do. I know. But my sister goes because she's gay. Well, okay. Yeah. Makes absolutely no sense. Well, it, yeah. make, it makes sense if you're me. I bet it does. That, it does. That weird fucking mind of yours. Well, so I like making fun of my sister because she's gay. I know. We know. So... Everything she does, it's it's because she's because gay. she's gay. <laughs> yeah, she. Oh, you're gonna eat pizza, huh? It yep. must be because you're gay. Because you're gay. <laughs> you gay. Yeah, that's exactly. That's how I. That's why how I talk to her. I believe it. I believe it. A lot of the shit you do and say doesn't make sense, except you know, obviously to you, it makes perfect sense in your head. Yeah, you have to. You have to have a brain like mine. That. Yeah, you're a rare breed. There's not many people like you. You have to connect the dots in a certain pattern to make the right shape. Yeah. You know? Kinda so like, like like Rain Man. Yeah. Rain. Well, he can like see numbers and shit. I can I can create my own fucking relationships between things. Man. That was a good burp. Yeah, it was very relieving. Was it? Yep. Speaking of, what did so what did you do over your fourth of July weekend? Well, not a whole lot, to be honest, because we, we went golfing that Saturday prior. Yep. I whipped your ass. Yeah, you did. We got uh, whipped it. Got kind of drunky, and then I went to a friend's house for his 4th of July party, and I huh. got really drunky there. What happened after that? Well, uh, let me explain. <laughs> uh, I didn't eat the whole day. It was my, my, my diet was uh, bush lattes. The whole day, yeah. Starting at what we time did we start golfing? Eight, uh, eight thirty. Eight thirty, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it was just bush lattes the whole day, and then I, I, uh, I threw up in my bed. Hmm. I was sleeping. You did soundly, and I just threw up right in your bed. Huh? I was like, I woke up paralyzed. Basically, I woke. I couldn't move. I couldn't. I didn't even realize I was really thrown up because I woke up the next morning. Were you like, still laying in your puke? I didn't notice it <laughs> because 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 i was still drunk because and we'll know but i mean i so I, I thought that i was dreaming that i was throwing up in my bed yep but i do remember like kind of being able to like wiggle out a little bit and puke off the side of the bed and so when i woke up i looked off the side and i was like there's a little bit down there i was like there it is that's like that i was like that's it's not too bad, but I've done a lot worse. So I got up, went downstairs, made coffee, took a shower, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I'm going to go clean this now. So I went upstairs, and I saw the bed. It was in shambles, dude. Fucking, <laughs> fucking sheet was pulled back and shit. There's throw up everywhere. I was like, oh, my God. I didn't even realize. Like You were sleeping in it? I was sleeping in it, and I must have. <laughs> I must have. Dude, I'm so lucky. Because I, at that point, if I would have been on my back or something, I probably would have drowned in my own vomit. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you have close calls. So let me ask you this. Since after that happened, Mm -hmm. did you like, did you get like this internal, like you were disappointed in yourself? Oh, yeah. Like you're walking around the house and you just felt like, like I can't, like a shitty person because you did that and like you caught yourself doing it. Mm hmm. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, luckily, I, I've had a a few life moments like that where it's like the next day or two, you just, you feel like you need to hide in the corner because everybody's looking at you because you're an idiot. Mm-hmm. That's happened a few times. I, I felt like even... that after my OWI. Oh, yeah. I felt super just like, I felt like I let myself down. Mm-hmm. You know, I was like, dude, 
You are so much better than that. Yep. A point oh nine. That's all you blew. What a fucking <laughs> loser. You Can't got an OWI got with a point oh nine. Yeah. You couldn't fucking talk your way out of that. I felt like a real loser then. Real loser. Yeah. Yeah, I felt and like pe- shit. Some people would be like, dude, what about the time your daughter found you naked on the couch? That one, no. I was not disappointed. I saw that coming. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. And one of these days anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I, I felt <laughs> like shit. That, and Ashley wasn't here. She was in South Carolina. So obviously she didn't. Yeah. She wasn't there for it. Whatever, oh, but. I bet she would have got your ass beat. You would have puked in the bed with Ashley in there. Probably, but I didn't puke on her side. It was literally all my side yeah. and then off the side of the bed. She would have she would have woke up in the middle of the night and been like, what the fuck, Brandon? I'm sure she would have heard it. I bet she would have smelled it I, first. I bet it was violent. There's nothing worse than smelling somebody puke fucking booze. Mm-hmm. And that's all it was. I <clears throat> literally, literally ate nothing the whole <clears throat> day. And it was out in the sun. And it was just a bad combo. I should not have been doing I was, that. I was, I was riding. In the back seat. I think I told this story one time when I puked. No, I might not have said it on here. I was we were downtown Philly, right? Mm-hmm. And I rode down there with a guy that I was in the service with. And we're fucking coming back from downtown and I'm shit faced. Everyone in the car shit faced. And this dude's driving like ninety mile an hour on fucking the interstate and he's weaving in and out of traffic and he's like like texting and I'm like in the back fucking all over and i'm like dude you need to stop that dude i'm about to throw up Uh uh-huh and he's like you better not puke in my car i'm like well slow down and quit fucking swerving and i was getting like real sick in the back and there was this there was this girl sitting right next to me that i had been talking to all night that i thought was into me she was not after the car ride i can assure you um yeah uh i was like yep i'm gonna puke and i was like what the fuck? And I had a fucking Gatorade bottle <laughs> and I opened it and I rolled the window down and I dumped it out the window. And I was like, yeah, I think I'm going to puke. And I got it. As soon as I got it empty, I went, <laughs> dude, I filled the Gatorade bottle and I didn't spill a drop, but I threw up too much. Yeah. And as soon as the Gatorade bottle got full, it, it exploded in my face. Well, yeah, that's and it got sense. all over this girl sitting next oh. to me, and Gross. I was like, Bleh. and I put the cap on it and I threw it out the window and I sat back, and I just turned and looked over and I go, I'm so sorry, <laughs> and never said another <laughs> word to her ever again. Why didn't you just think you had the window open, dude? We were Why doing, didn't you just think to dude, open? We were doing like ninety mile an hour. I mean. If you're going to crash or whatever. And he was, gonna... dude, he was swerving. Like, I was scared that if I would have hung my head out the window. You would have hit a car or something? He would have swerved. Like, because he was, like, whipping in and out of traffic. I hate when people like, do that. Like, abrasively. And I was like, if I hang my head out the window, he's going to whip over. And I'm going to fall out the window. Yeah. Because I'm drunk as shit, one, and I'm puking. So I'm going to be heaving hard. And he called me the next day. He's like, you're going to come clean this puke out of the back of my car. I go, nope. I told you to fucking slow down. Stop driving like an idiot. You clean it up. We were good. Not, we didn't hang out after that. Yeah, I wouldn't either. I wouldn't want to hang out with him anyway. Mm-mm. Trust people like that. Also, same dude. When he, when he wipes his ass, he spits on the fucking toilet paper. What? Yep. Fucking weirdo. That is weird. Like making his own wet wipe? Yep. Why didn't you just use a sink or something? Dude. Gross, dude. How do you know that, first of all? Huh? How do you know that? I fucking walked in on him taking a shit. And he was spitting in the toilet paper at that exact moment. The, he was spitting on the toilet paper. What the fuck are you doing? He goes, I'm going to wet it down so it gets it clean. I'm like, Ugh. you are fucking weird. Why wouldn't, you, why wouldn't you just use like sink water or something? Like turn the sink on a little bit and just get why that thing wet. Dip it in the toilet water and fucking. Why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> It's better than spitting no on it. No wonder you were friends with them. That's what that's what ladies do. Spit on it. <laughs> yeah. Not toilet paper. No. But they spit on something. Something. <laughs> Rhymes with ick. Yeah, or smushy, depending on the person. <laughs> Gay. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, speaking of, there's a picture of me somewhere passed out drunk with my hands in my fucking or my face in my hands, sitting on the toilet. 
Oh was, yeah, dude, I was shit faced, and I was I sat down and I put my I was sitting there and I put my my elbows on my knees and I put my hands out and I like put my face in my hands, fucking assed out. Were you naked? No, my, my pants were at Michael's. I was mm. Fucking shitting. You don't poop naked. And my buddies were like, Kobe, Kobe. No answer. They opened the door. There I was. Probably thought you were dead. Sleeping on the shitter. They fucking took pictures of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, if anybody listening has those pictures, we would love those. I have those pictures. Oh, you do? Yep. Uh, there's no point in going for it now. Uh, you can find it later. And send it to me. Yes, I absolutely can. I'll put it. Yeah, let's put it up. I'll put it up if, we'll, you, if we can get it. We'll throw it up there. I'm pretty yeah. sure I can find it really fast. Uh, and it was like three in the clock in the afternoon. Three in the clock in the three afternoon. Three in the clock in the three afternoon. Three in the clock, two in the bush, or whatever. <laughs> 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 Dummy. You fucking, you're not smart. I'm not smart. What's two plus seven? Seven, nine. <laughs> it took you a minute. <laughs> no, it did. I knew what it was. Okay. What's 12 plus 12? 24. Mm, what's 24 plus 24? Uh, 48. <laughs> I had, dude, I, Rain Man. Nine times nine. 18. 18? You <laughs> dyslexic fuck. It's 81. <laughs> Stop making me sound snot smart. Snot smart. Okay. Uh, speaking of Facebook, dude, this whole uh, Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg thing is. Dude, yes. Is, uh, did you okay. S- did, so. you, did you see that Elon Musk is, is training with uh, George St. Pierre? George St. Pierre. It's getting serious. Dude, he's a good fighter. So. The last I heard, and you might be able to see something a little better here. I'm getting fucking excited about this because I've always wanted to see Mark Zuckerberg get punched in the face super hard. Yeah. I'm actually looking at a picture out of him right now. It makes you want to fucking hit him. And yeah, I just, I just, ugh, that's, he looks, that's smirk. He looks like a cunt. He looks like a doucher. Yeah. He looks like the kind of guy you punch in the face really hard and then he fucking goes and tells your mom that you punched him. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. So I can't wait to watch fucking Elon Musk beat the brakes off of fucking Zuckerberg. I hope they fight. That'd be cool as fuck. Dude, Mark they, they would, Fuckerberg. UFC would make so much money if they put, put so that on So are paper you looking game. at it right now? Is there any yeah. update from Dana White? Because the last, the last I saw, Dana White is putting this motherfucker together. And they both have agreed to fight. They were just... They were waiting on time and place, and Dana was trying to get all the logistics figured out of what was gonna, what it was gonna be. I think he was trying to put together like an actual fight card, get like other fights put together and lined up, and then. Mm-hmm. I think that's how far it is. I think it's ready to fucking roll. They just need to set a date now, because they both agreed, and obviously, Elon's fucking already training with fucking George St. Pierre. Yeah. Dude, he's gonna fucking he's gonna I mean he he's he is he said that he needs more work, obviously, but who? Elon? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh yeah, Dana White told TMD Sports a celebrity contest could be the biggest fight ever in the history of the world. Dude, you're not fucking kidding. Two Yeah, he said he said both of them are dead serious about two, about fighting. Two billionaires. Yeah. Each one Who's- owns one of the one of the biggest fucking social media platforms. They both. Do. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like each one of them owns one of the biggest fucking social media platforms out there. You know how much money Dana White's gonna make on this fight? Oh yeah, dude. Holy well, he says right here it'd be bigger than anything that's ever been done. It would break all pay per view records. These guys would raise hundreds of millions of dollars for charity. You don't even have to be a fighting fan to be interested in that. Like just dude. to see. Who who doesn't want to see a couple billionaires just fucking brawl it out, right? Look what happened when people found out a couple billionaires imploded at the bottom of the ocean. All right. Dude, the memes that came out about that were rough. Were fucking ruthless. Oh yeah. I laughed my fucking ass off, but they were ruthless. Yeah. Imagine two billionaires getting in a ring where they're not actually gonna die. I mean, technically, you could at the a very mm. off chance, but well, I don't know. You he, let fucking Elon Musk get in there and beat the brakes off of Zuckerberg, he's probably gonna die. There, because uh, then by default, by old time law, the Romans, 
he would acquire Facebook. What? It would be his. He earned it fair and square. That'd be cool yeah, if he took Facebook. Dude, they should fight for pink slips. <laughs> Twitter, Facebook, yeah. pink slips. Can you imagine, though, if fucking Fuckerberg got, had Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram? Yeah. Mm. It'd be a, yeah. It'd be rough. Yeah, ain't no, ain't, nobody's information safe. There'd be some cheating going on <laughs> yeah, there, yeah. I bet. So they, they got their numbers up here and stuff. And uh, Musk is 6'1 to hit Zuckerberg's 5'7. He's 5'7? Yeah, he's taller just, than you. Just like me? Yeah. No, I'm 5'7. Are you? Yeah. I thought you were 5'3. I'm 5'7. Five, five, oh, you, fuck you. <laughs> Musk is 187. <laughs> Zuckerberg's 154. Small. Uh, dude, he's 51 a years old to 39, and their IQs 155 to 152. They put their IQs in here, did they? Yeah, well, they're yeah, billionaire geniuses or whatever. Yeah, dude, Zuckerberg's a little bitch. 5'7, 150, what 154? 154. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude, I'd throttle him. Would you? I'd fucking throttle him. <laughs> well, I'm gonna. I'll t- I'll tweet it out. I'll be like, hey, yeah. When you're de- when you and Musk are done, this guy here wants to fucking fight now, you too. Now Musk, I, Musk, Musk would be a good fight. He's got me on size, reach. He's got you on, he's got you on height. But remember, I'm dumb. Yeah, that is correct. Yeah, you hit me. I'm just like, yeah, I'm, like, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm coming back at you. <laughs> you can't rattle these brains. There's no brains to rattle. <laughs> <laughs> You big dumb idiot. Why are you always picking on me? You brought it up. I didn't even bring it up. Uh, so, yeah, that would be a fun fight to watch. Dude. I'd watch. I'd pay for that. I'd pay 50 bucks for that. Oh, dude. If that fight happens, we are doing a pay-per-view party here oh, in the fuck. shop. You have to. Oh, yeah. Yep. They, they, we might even live stream that motherfucker. They're almost at the point now like where they, they can't really back out. They have to go through with it. Almost. Oh, dude. Yeah. I mean, I hope Zuckerberg backs out and every, everyone I don't. boycotts Facebook and Instagram mm. and just ruins him. I don't because I really want them to. He's a twerp. I really want them to fight. I don't like Zuckerberg. I know you don't. I don't. A lot of people don't. I've never met the guy, but I feel like he's 135,000% someone I wouldn't be friends with. Oh, yeah. I couldn't be friends with him. Just the look on his face. He'd be one of those guys that keep around to pick on. You'd keep around to pick on him. Yeah. What? You just keep around so you like. Yeah, you, just per- so you, you can- pretend to be friends with him just so you can have that guy to pick on, beat up on and shit. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling feisty. Kind of like a chunk from the Goonies. Up on Zuckerberg. Well, they only kept him around and fucking do the truffle shuffle. No, that's not true. Uh. Only Corey Feldman was the only one who made him do the truffle shuffle. So, so Chunk was, he got kept around because he was the fat kid. But no, he was their friend. First of all, was he? he oh, yeah. Second of Maybe all, he, after. Saved, he saved him. Yeah. yeah. He brought after Sloth the- to the party. <laughs> so, mm, I think he was the fat kid they kept around just for shits and giggles. I don't think so. As the story went on. Okay, he became a good friend. But I think at the beginning, come on, guys, let me in. Come on, let me in, guys. <laughs> Sounds like a kid they keep around to make fun of to me. Well. Which pretty- isn't nice. If you have a group of friends and you keep somebody around just to be mean to them, fuck you. <laughs> Even though I said I would do that to Zuckerberg, you just, you just he deserves it. You just said he would do that. It's not very nice. There's one thing I don't like in this world, and it's bullying innocent people that don't deserve to be bullied. If you're an innocent person that does nothing wrong and somebody fucking bullies you just because, I'll fucking throttle you too. You'll you'll throttle them? Yeah. I love that word, dude. I'm like stuck on that word today. Roughly seven times already. It's just like, it really sticks your point in there. You know what I mean? Like what you're trying to get across. I'm going to throttle you. you know, yeah, like everyone's like, oh, I'm going to beat your ass. Like Everyone says that. Imagine you hear a guy go, I'm going to fucking throttle you. And you're like, wait a minute. He's intense. What, what, does, he, what does he mean? 
Is it? By the time you put two and two together, you're fought out. You're throttled. You're fucking <laughs> throttled, buddy. Right to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Never turn your back on a guy who's going to throttle you. No. No. Or the same, dude, the same with, like, how we've been on, like, I'm beat the fucking brakes off of that thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's, Knock I the like, brakes off of it. I like that one, too. Yeah. Next, next, You're fuck, welcome. next dude, I catch bullying a fucking little kid. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna beat the fucking brakes out mm-hmm. your ass. Knock the brakes. Out of you. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? Fuck around, you're gonna find out. <laughs> Fuck around, find out. Knock the brakes off you, and then throttle you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you're gonna fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Are we fucking or fighting? <laughs> <laughs> I'll spit my fucking. Drink. I heard that. <laughs> good one you got me off guard on that one yeah <laughs> i thought you were trying to bang me for a second <laughs> all right come here big boy come here come Uh-oh. here speaking of come here uh-huh uh did you see bud light's new commercial Mm-mm. I, don't have, I don't have tv so so uh, let's just let's just let's go back to this this uh bud light thing real quick uh Okay, America, I know we're all fucking sick and tired of of shit. Me too. But maybe we should give Bud Light a chance again. They they released a commercial that kind of got my feelers a little bit. 65,000 employees at Anheuser-Busch. And they released a commercial that was like meant to be like, okay, we got your point. Enough's enough. Can you guys please stop? Because we're about to fire 65,000 people. And they like went through and they're like, they're like I, I put the labels on the bottle. I deliver the bottles. I make the bottles. Like they had everyone like say their jobs. And I was like, oh, you know what? I bet you Budweiser's getting ready to fire all these people. And this is their last ditch effort to get, get everyone to be like, please, please. Start buying do Bud it, Light again. Do it for us, not the... Do it for the employees. So, okay, I think we, we got the point across, and I think they're sorry. Well, we should probably... I mean, fuck it. If you want to be ruthless, fucking put them all out of jobs. I don't give a I shit. Mean, we're, but we're, we're drinking Bush Light. I'm so. just trying to be... I'm trying to think on the, the right side of things here, and there's a lot of people out there that are probably on the same page you are, but they're going to get fired because... Nobody's buying Anheuser Busch products anymore, yeah. so we should think about that. Maybe we should start buying some Anheuser products and give them some business back, so that sixty-five thousand employees. You know what? We should we should just reach out to the, them and say, you know what? Who is in charge of marketing? All aspects of marketing. Who's in charge of marketing? We will start buying your shit again. You fire them, fucking idiots. She, they did. They fired the lady who came out with that. Oh, they did? Yeah. Good. Or, yeah, I'm pretty sure Good. she was fired or yeah, something along those lines. She's yeah. not there anymore. You know, make a, make a or fucking, she's not doing make a fucking commercial anymore. that promotes your shit, doesn't push an agenda, and your business will be perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Hey, this is Love You Bye. Make sure you watch our podcast. I'm Colby. This is my buddy. Brandon, thanks for watching. There you go. Commercial. <laughs> or it could go something like this. Hey, this is K-Love You Buy Podcast. Make so, sure to support your local transgenders on Gay Pride Month. And then nobody would watch us. Well, some people would watch us. I Maybe. mean, but why would we need? We don't need to say that, right? You say that kind of shit and you're just asking for trouble. Yeah. Do you remember that? You probably don't. Well, there, there was a time I was telling, talking with you about this earlier, like how like back in the day you, you, uh, oh, oh, the voting, the, thing. like voting, yeah, yeah, you, you, you would go around, you wouldn't be like, who'd you vote for, like, oh, not telling you, you know, there used to be a time when you kept your shit to yourself, you keep your shit to yourself, yeah, yeah, dude, I mean, for the most part, there were still people who would say their piece, whatever, but in my opinion. I'm not going to try to change anybody's mind on anything. Nobody's going to change my mind on anything. So yeah. I won't hate you for your opinion. You don't yeah, hate yeah, me for mine. Give a shit. Have your opinions. Hey, uh, speaking of, I watched, a, I watched a video one time about 
Oh, well, it was, uh, was it George? Straight. Or was it Ronald Reagan and George Bush Sr.? When they were, like, going after office against each other or something, they were on a late-night TV show, both of them, sitting next to each other, talking politics, and they obviously different. I think they were different parties. and they, No, they're the same party. Were they the same party? Mm-hmm. But it might not have been them then. Either way, it was it was two presidential candidates that were running against each other, and they were, and it was like that time frame, like eighties, nineties, maybe. Yeah, and they were on a late night talk show, and they were discussing politics, and they're like, yeah, I don't agree with him, but he would make a hell of a president if he got picked. And I thought to myself, you would never in a million fucking years in twenty twenty three hear one of the other presidential candidates. Give a compliment to the other. Oh, fuck no. Absolutely not. <laughs> like, what? What? It, dude, it like blew my mind for a second. I'm like, they actually like complimented each other? Mm hmm. It's been so long since we've had like good quality Americans in fucking office. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, fuck. Yeah, yeah anyway, on that note. Fucking cunts. On that note. What was that? I don't know. Hey, it is time for us to okay. kick rocks, bud. And with that note, we're going to end this this episode with Colby's useful uh, useful advice of the day here. Okay. This this useful advice goes out to all the ladies, particularly the younger the younger generation. Don't seek a man that will take you to the Bahamas. Seek a man that will spend his last dime taking you to the Bahamas. good advice good advice it's good as good advice yeah right it is yeah yep i'm not gonna go into it what it means you can figure it out pretty obvious pretty obvious yeah but with that i hope you guys have a fan fucking tastic day week Week, month year year. and what would make it better is going to rustylids.com getting yourself a hat and using code love you l-o-v-e letter u and get yourself a hat letter u indubitably Get yourself a hat. Yeah. Love you guys. Hey, we to love the you. Stars and back. That's a long fucking way. It's a lot. It's how much we love you. Yeah. We'll see you on the next episode. Till then. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, love you. Bye. Bye. I'm chasing their butt cheeks. Up and down the corn. All these girls have cowboy boots and wear their wrangler and fuck me in the butthole. Take two. Chasing their butt cheeks up and down the corn all these girls have cowboy boots and carry around their pitchforks chasing their butt cheeks up and down the corn all these girls have real nice butts and wear those wrangler jean shorts (laughs) (laughs) all right uh pull chocks pull chocks Thank you.